Well, good afternoon, everybody. It's uh, Monday afternoon, and uh, just a little bit of Wisconsin update going on here. So this this has to do with Wisconsin Judge Rhonda Lanford of Dayton County. Today they had a hearing with Janelle Brant Branton B R A N D T J E N. So I can't say her name right. I have to hear it anyway. So. Janelle, uh, we know a few weeks ago that Michael Gableman was to issue some subpoenas to some of the officials that had to do with the 2020 people picking process. Well, um, the subpoenas were not legal. They weren't signed properly. And I think that we all will. We all know that that was done purposely to kind of slow things up a little bit. But uh, Janelle's not done yet. She's going to reissue some subpoenas and they're going to be issued properly because She's working with several other Supreme Court justices to get the subpoenas wrote out properly. She has to go through a congressional hearing in her in her district to get the subpoenas to be issued. Uh, so there'll be a, a little bit of timeline in between, so we won't hear anything for a little bit probably. Um, but there's a lot of information that's being uncovered as we speak. I just talked to Janelle's uh, representative people in her office, whatever you want to call those, her, her constituents, I guess, or whatever. And that man was very nice and very respectful. And I told him I was where I was from, North Carolina, and explained to him what was going on, and he knew. And uh, he was generally concerned, and he was telling me that he was actually one of the people that was to, he found the emails between other officials that um, brought to light the undercrowned app that they were using to watch the demographic of voters so that they knew who, who the people pick for. So that was a cool, that was a cool, uh, uh, t being able to talk to him a little bit, you know, cause I actually got to be kind of sort of the inside of the dragon's mouth there. All right. So that was a good thing. The, no the phone number to Janelle's office, because I'm going to want everybody to call down there and call down there real nice and respectful, which everybody does. The guy, the guy said he's already had people calling and he's had a lot of good, a good interactions with other people, but the phone number is 608-267. Two three six seven, and um, give those people a call down there, and you know, tell them who you are, and tell them you're calling in regard to Janelle, and you support what she's trying to do, and you, you know, want to express concern, and uh, maybe try to go as fast as she can, you know. But they will. I think that, from what I can tell, um, it's this is a real thing. This isn't going away. This is uh, we don't hear about it in mainstream media, of course, and we're not hearing a lot right now because I do believe that there's some uh, networking going on between investigations, and for radio silence, this is probably a good thing because that's keeping from there are leaks, but I think they're calculated, like this leak right here. That is for me to know about this. I knew about this before that man did, but I believe those calculated leaks are are there for a reason. Um, now after that, we're just going to have to use God as our faith. But uh, I do know that 44,665 illegal papers with no ID that were last time a huge portion of these same people paper picking peoples had ID. So in other words, these same 44,665 papers, the people picking process before this one, they had IDs. For some reason, there was none shown this time. That's really strange because it's, that means that, that they were probably sidestepped and, and used in whatever nefarious needed to be. Uh, so that has really, that's came to light. Uh, we do know that Robin Voss may be facing in a recall election at the in the middle to end of November. So we're going to keep an eye on that. Um, uh, I have a lot of faith in what's going on. And, uh, you know, I have a faith for 100% that, that things are going to be all right either way because God has got his hands on this whole thing. But... Uh, you know what we're working for i'm sure we're going to see a beautiful turnaround we're going to look back and say our efforts were worth it and uh we also know when i've done videos about how their their main goal is to wear us out to demoralize us to let to maybe maybe make us just fizzle out and go away the fact that we haven't is a is a scary sign for the left because they already most of the time when these things come about, you're looking at a two or three week window of people being all up in the air and then they just goes away. But this has not, this has only gotten bigger. The man that I talked to in Janelle's office even said, hey, I can see this is actually growing. I'm going through all the grassroots movements and I can see people 
I can see people coming up out of the woodwork. So this is a growing movement. Uh, we're moving way faster than they ever anticipated. And uh, this is really messing up their narrative because they can't stop us. Uh, but yeah, call down there to um, Gableman's office and tell him how much he sucks. <laughs> and tell Robin Voss that uh, we would really appreciate him to do his job while he still has the chance. And then, uh, and then you know, you've got Janelle, B-R-A-N-T, I'm sorry, B-R-A-N-D-T-J-E-N. That's how you spell it. So when you look up her information, Janelle, J-A-N-E-L, B-R-A-N-D-T-J-E-N. It's a hard last word to say, but her information will come up, and that phone number is 9 my area code 608 is 608-267-2367 please call down there make your voices heard tell them how much we support them god is in control